Hello. So talking about little Egyptian bowl with feet today. So the original of this was made from Nile clay. And the thing about Nile is by the time it's getting to Egypt, it's, it's traveled a long, long, long distance, which means there's been plenty of time for the clay to have been ground down. And again, as it's sort of going out to sea, once it's sort of traveled quite that far, you, you're gonna have a slowing of the water. And though only the finest particles will be traveling along the river at that stage, which means you get very, very fine, um, beautiful clay. So when this was made, the, the finish is quite a, a nice shiny red slip finish. So I imagine that they were using extremely fine clay to make it and then dipping it in a nice um, fine clay slip. And you were getting a beautiful, beautiful um, ready orange shiny bowl from it. So what we know of it is that it's from the pre-dynastic period. That means before the uh, in the Neolithic period, before the, the big pharaohs and all of that kind of stuff came along. So, so we're looking um, very early in, in the history. I, I believe that they went from pre-dynastic to just the start of the um, big dynasties that we know so well in Egyptian history. So from, I'm checking my notes, around um, 3,900 BC to 3,650 BC is, is the date that it's been given. And I think they're absolutely adorable. They, they they don't exactly know why they've been made, but what they have noticed is that they're tilted forward slightly, which the suggestion being that they are tilted forward as if in offering, so offering their contents to whoever it is that requires the offering. The other suggestion has been, and I do not know anything about hieroglyphics, but the other suggestion has been that this, this little pot is shaped in a similar way to a hieroglyph that would mean to give which would make sense so it's a bowl for giving it's tilted forward to give so a lovely little little bowl um, in making it what i've noticed from the photographs is the base is quite thick but they've they've brought it up to a relatively thin rim which gives it a nice finish and we don't know for sure maybe they didn't they, they weren't bothered about the thickness of the base maybe it wasn't important but the thickness of the base certainly makes it easier to apply the feet without causing distortions in, in the center of the bowl so you've got a nice thick wall to attach those to you're not getting denting or distorting in here and it means you can attach the feet uh, fairly early on um, when the, the pot is quite wet which means that they're likely to stick better less likelihood of it cracking so a really lovely little bowl. The other thing that I like about the way that they've been made, it's sort of a little attention to detail. The way that they've been made gives you actual little toes on the bottom. So the foot pad has been constructed and then attached, and then the little toes have been added on. So you actually get, when I'm dipping them in slip and then putting them on the board, what you're getting as I lift it, you're getting little footprints um, on the board that have been left by them but I think it's a really lovely attention to detail that they they you know there are many ways to um, to model a foot but to actually to go to the effort of adding each individual toe shows a lot of care and attention for these little bowls so wonderful wonderful Egyptians not something we do that often but these these little bowls were just so charming that I had to make a few so it, it's it's just something I wanted to make <laughs> Hope you enjoyed. If you know any more information about these lovely little bowls, always, always eager to hear. Okay, bye for now.